Hi guys, Craig and Annette, Oz Camping. Uh, we told you we were going to let you know when we were putting in our USB outlet upgrades. So um, our standard USBs, I've taken them all out and we're replacing them with uh, 65 watt PD and QC3 inputs. Um, so that'll be quick chargers for Android devices or other USB devices. And the 65 watt PD is a USB-C, so that'll allow us to use all our Apple devices directly off this outlet instead of cigarette lighter adapters and things like that. So um, one of the challenges, this little hole here had a plastic plug in it like that, and this doesn't fit. So I need to open that out. Now I've got some other ones because I'm upgrading the ones inside and putting in some extras as well. So I need to run a 30 mil hole saw through there Anybody that's used a hole saw before knows that this pilot drill is what stops it from wobbling all over the place and making a big mess there. So um, how do I do that now? I'm going to show you a little trick. Grab yourself a scrap piece of wood and pop a hole through there with your hole saw first and then we can clamp that up into place and use it for a guide. So I'll get that set up and maybe Annette will come back and I can show you how I drill that hole. So. Got our piece of wood clamped up there with the hole where I want to drill. And if you're worried about it moving, you could put a little bit of double-sided sticky tape on the back of this piece of wood before you clamp it into position. And then we can just go in and drill through. And it doesn't shake all over the place because the wood's providing a guide for this. So as simple as that. And there's the finished product. So nice neat hole, even though it was already bored out just using a piece of wood as a guide. So I'll finish off my wiring and um, you can come back and have a look at the finished product when I've got it all installed. So that's it guys, we've got the, all the power points hooked up now. Um, I picked up a couple of these adapter cables. These are 5.5, sort of a standard um, DC 12 volt plug. You see them on um, uh, strip lights and things like that. It's also the same size on our Bose um, uh, SoundLink Mini, um, so we can charge that now straight off the USB-C port, 65 watt PD. So you know, 65 watt output there on the USB-C. You've got Quick Charge 3 down here for all your standard USB devices. I can turn it off at night time so I don't have a night light, which is really nice. Um, and get rid of all our adapters for our Bose speaker, which we use if we go down the beach. Um, got rid of all the adapters on the TV. Come and have a look, I'll show you what we did there. So I put three in here. And the reason I put three in is, one, we use our, our um, HomePod Mini because that gives us a nice sound when we're watching a movie or something. Or if we can take it outside and plug it in out there as well. And we can stream all our Apple audio. And our TV, I showed you before where we converted our Apple TV to 12 volt. And this is a 12 volt TV. I've done the same thing. I've hooked those up with one of these adapter cables. Um, and I've got a, a Y splitter on it. So one plug, just one plug now, straight into there. and turn it on and I've got my TV and my Apple TV powered up. So pretty happy with that. Um, thanks for watching. We've got a few more things to show you before we go away. Um, I think we've got about two or three more weeks and we're heading over to Western Australia. So be sure to follow for that. Um, hopefully before we go, I'll show you how we installed our uh, wireless reverse camera. Cheers for now.